Am I live? Am I live? Hello! Oops, am I live now? <laughs> Can't do a redo. Hello! Welcome back to my live stream. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. And if you're watching later, freaking welcome back to you too. That is so amazing. For those of you who watch the replays, that is so freaking sweet of you. Why did my camera turn off? Oh wow, off to a off to a hot start on the live stream, you guys. Why didn't it stay on? That's so silly of my camera. Hope it's not gonna do that the whole time. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for letting me know I am live. I'm never confident if I'm actually live. You know, yeah, it's just like I got no way to verify. I just I'm here and you're there. So uh yeah. Hopefully we're not going to have any technical difficulties today. I feel like that's tradition of me opening the live stream as like, crossing my fingers, I don't have any technical difficulties. Um, camera, we need you to do me a favor. Stay on. Don't turn off every two seconds. That'd be great. Everybody's here. Donna's here. Hello. Polychromo is here. Hello. Lunar. I just can't read that small. Lunars is here. Donna's here. Donna's here again. I said hi to Donna twice. Hello, hello, hello. Amanda's here. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited that you're all here. You guys are so good at coming to the live stream right at the beginning. I feel like when I watch live streams, I always forget until they're about to be over. So you guys, you know, you guys are the type of folks. You're, you're my earth signs. You're my folks that are organized and you know when things start and you get to things right away. So I'm very impressed. Kate, hello. I'm so happy you're here. I'm having a good time today. I've got another candle burning. I've been trying to finish this candle. This is like the candle that will not die. And the thing is, I don't want it to die because I love this candle. It's also burning my hand. This is another classic Marshalls pick. It's a DW Home. It's Key Lime Pie. If for those of you who have been watching me since the summertime, you know this was like a favorite of mine in June. So the fact that I still have this candle and it's not even that huge. Like I know Marshalls makes like really big ones or DW Home makes like huge ones. This is one of their smaller sizes. It's only supposed to burn for like 30 hours and it's been way longer than 30 hours. So I've kind of been trying to finish it up because it's a very summery scent, you know. Um, Pirate James, I don't care if you're a million minutes late. I wouldn't care at all. I'm so happy that you're here. You're, I was late. Pirate James. So to be honest, like nobody, nobody gets any points deducted for being late because I myself am usually late for the live stream. <laughs> I like that I stopped in the middle of my sentence. I'm sorry. What was I saying about this? Oh, I was just saying that I've had this for like months and months and months and it won't stop burning and it's a summery scent. So I'm trying to like, you know, get rid of it before it gets too into winter. I don't know. I guess key lime pie could be Gotta remember to breathe. I always forget to breathe. Can't cut out those moments. But um, yeah, I'm trying to finish up my summary sense before it gets into the winter time. I have so many other candles to get through. I just, I realized today that I have become Jan from the office. <laughs> like I literally do whenever I'm stressed out. I just go and I, I just smell all my candles and then I feel so much better. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I love that all the Geminis are popping out. You're all like, I called you all earth signs and everyone's like, no, 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 Geminis. But that's interesting. I guess Geminis are on time too. Geminis, exactly. Gemini. Donna says, we're great that Geminis have no idea what we are. I love it. I think Geminis are an air sign. That sounds correct. I like that. My boyfriend's a Gemini moon. I love Geminis. You guys are the life of the party. You're always so fun to talk to. Oh my gosh. I love Geminis so much. Emmy's here. Shout out to Emmy for being here. I love that you're here. Yes, everyone's making it to the live stream. Um, someone sent me a message after the live stream last week saying that it feels like, you know, it feels like a social gathering, you know, when we all get together on the live stream and everyone talks in the chat. And I just think that's so nice. It does feel like everyone's showing up to the party right now. And I'm your host. And I'm not I'm not a great host. I didn't make appetizers. So I'm sorry I didn't make appetizers. But I do have my Serenity by Giovanna. <laughs> Actually, Serenity by DW Holmes. Serenity by TJ Maxx. But I brought the candles that you guys can't smell. But I also brought topics. Yes, of course. Of course, we have to have a couple of topics for the live stream just to keep things focused, my flight attendant figures, just to keep us on the track that is where the airplane takes off. 
And today I thought it could be fun if we talked about celebrity makeup brands since I feel like the biggest thing in the beauty industry right now is Miss Ariana Grande launching her own beauty brand and that's very exciting. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of hype built up to it for a long time. They've been teasing. They've actually been doing really cool teasers. She's been like posting the components and how they went about designing the components and I think that is so so cool. But um, I do have some thoughts on the makeup, naturally. Uh, it's not what I expected it to be, but I have mixed thoughts, okay? They're not all gonna be negative. They're not all gonna be critical. And if you're watching the replay and you just clicked on the video because you saw me making a uh, face next to Ariana Grande, I'm here to tell the stands that I, I love Miss Ari. I love Miss Ariana Grande. And whenever I criticize a celebrity makeup brand, it's not a criticism of that celebrity. And I know that's hard. I know it's hard to grasp for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, so it's purely just a criticism of the makeup and not that celebrity. And I also fully acknowledge that this line will probably sell out immediately, even if it was absolute garbage. So, I mean, who cares? You know, who cares what I got to say? I just, I'm just over here chatting and rambling. What's everybody saying in the chat? Lena's here. Hi, Lena. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you made it. It's so freaking late where Lena is. You better go to bed right after this. My goodness. Or do whatever you want. You're grown up. You can do whatever you want. But oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Emmy's burning her own candle too. Cheers. Cheers to our candles. How exciting. That's so fun. Hi, Sophia. I'm so happy you're here. Wow. Sometimes I'll make like, I'll look right into the camera so that it feels like we're making eye contact. Is that, is that weird? I don't know. Um, okay. I guess I should put some makeup on when we do this. Didn't I get my stuff out? Oh, another exciting thing about this is that I'm going to be using my Midas Cosmetics Perception Palette today. I felt like I wanted to be colorful. I don't know why. I kind of want to give the vibe. I don't want to say that because that's probably not what I'm going to do. I feel like these colors give Ariana Grande vibes. I don't know, it's giving sweetener because you know that album, she has sweetener. I feel like she was very into pastels for a while. So I don't know, I really just wanted an excuse to play with colors. And I was like, what colors will go well with this sweatshirt? And I feel like it's the Perception palette. So those are the little swatches I had on my thumbnail. Aren't they so beautiful? I'm so excited. Existential gal, you are not late. Everyone else is simply early. I'm so happy that you're here. Everybody's here. Oh, thank you, Donna. Donna's so good at reminding people to like the live stream. I'm like, do, 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 do. And I just, I forget to do that. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be using this little palette here today. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And I think we're just going to do something colorful. I did my face makeup ahead of time. Look at me doing things ahead of time so that the stream isn't eight hours long. But yeah, so I'm going to put on my little KVD Super Pomade base because it's white and I feel like the colors will pop really well on it. Hi Han makes up. I'm so happy you're here. Hello. I love recognizing people's names from the comments in the chat. It makes me so happy you guys are back hanging out again and I can talk to you in longer form than just like responding in comments. That's so cool. All right, so let me put on my little super pomade here. I've never applied this with my fingers before. Is this a bad idea? Who knows? We're doing it live. There's there's no practicing. There's no cuts. It's all raw, uncut footage. Sometimes I really do forget, though. I'll start talking, and then I'll pause, and I'll go to do a second take, and I'm like, oh, can't do a second take. It's live. I just, just got to keep going. So, yeah. How's everyone doing? I love that I just introduced like a topic that I want to talk about and then I'm like, let's just chit chat instead. I would love to just chit chat the whole time. But I am really curious to hear what you guys think about REM Beauty. Were you surprised when they showed what the products are? Are there any products that you're interested in picking up? Like objectively too. You know, I would love to hear if you're an Ariana Grande fan and if you're just going to pick it up because it's her stuff. But I would also love to hear your, like, objective opinion. Like, if R.E.M. Beauty launched that, and let's say, let's say that launch was, like, Makeup Revolution or something. Or, you know, some brand that just, like, launches stuff all the time and not a brand that has, like, a celebrity attached to it. Would you still be interested in buying it? I would love to know. Because I feel like there's a couple products that I'm like, okay, like, that's, that's cute. I'm interested in that. 
And then there's a couple other products that I'm like, mm, ma'am, what's, what's up with that? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how that made it past the marketing team. So I would love to hear from you guys. Ooh, someone asked what highlighter I'm wearing. Can you even believe it? I'm not wearing a highlighter today. I am, well, <laughs> that's a lie. I am wearing a highlighter. I'm wearing my Auric Glow Lust, my Auric Glow Lust in the shade Morganite. I have that all under my foundation, so that's giving me an all-over glow. And then I'm also wearing my Milani Baked Blush and Luminoso today. I wanted to just go like very glowy on the blush, so I thought that would be the vibe. And it is, in fact, the vibe. Caught a vibe! I can't stop singing that either. I'm pretty sure I kept singing that last week. Still stuck in my head all the time. Let's see what everybody says on the live stream. What am I singing? Ooh, everyone's talking about Hades Town. That's fun. That is a musical. I am aware of that. I don't know any songs from it or else I would sing them to you. But that's very cool. I live in New York. That's where that's where the show was on old Broadway. So I can relate to that. Ooh, okay, now back to back to my focusing topic at hand. Okay, so Sophia about REM Beauty, Sophia says I just don't care, but it doesn't really stand out. I feel like this is for her fans. Yes, I agree 100%. I feel the same way, where it definitely just, like, isn't, it doesn't stand out, you know? You know what it actually reminded me of when it launched? And maybe it's just the purple that's making me feel this way. But do you guys remember, do you remember it still exists? Do you guys know about Florence by Mills, Millie Bobby Brown's brand? I don't know why. I feel like REM Beauty gives me the same exact vibe. Like, you could merge those two brands together, and I'd be like, okay, yep. Like, Ariana's brand is definitely a little more spacey. Like, I will say that freaking lipstick component, have you seen it? It's so cool. The one in the in the thumbnail, you probably saw. She's, that's, like, the big thing that she's holding. I think that is a feat of science. I don't know how they put that together. I think it looks so cool. Um, you know, I it's nothing really revolutionary about the colors or anything, but I do think the component is really cool. And you know, it's hard to stand out in the beauty industry with components because so much has been done before. So I really do applaud them for that. I think that's very, very cool. Um, let's see what everyone else is saying. Oh my gosh. What's up? Okay. I think those are some reading <laughs> like re singing the comments out loud. Okay, Han brings up a good point that it is cool that they're bringing out a green highlighter. I will say I was really impressed by that. I was confused at what those little square pans were at first. Like, when they first launched them, I feel like I'm talking about so much and not showing it to you. So let me try to pull things up on my phone. But when I first saw those little, like, square things, I didn't realize that they were highlighters. And then when I found out these, is this, okay, these ones, these are the things we're talking about, the highlighters. I thought these were, like, single eyeshadows. And when they first announced them, I was like, Ariana coming out with single eyeshadows? Like, that's really interesting and strange to me. And then I saw that they were highlighters, and I was like, oh, okay. In that case, I kind of dig it, you know? Like, I, I really dig it. That's a good range for highlighters. Like, that's a good, solid highlighter range of both, like, neutral tones, but also really fun tones. Like, we have a yellow gold in here, the green, the Purple is really beautiful. Oh my gosh, if this came out in 2017, the way I would have jumped on this highlighter, like I used to be such a purple highlighter lady. I had so many purple highlighters. I bought the Fenty matchstick in the shade Unicorn or Confetti, whichever the super purple one was when it came out. Like I was so into purple highlighters. So I do think that's really cool that she came out with the purple highlighter. So in the green highlighter, like you brought up. So thank you for bringing that up. The highlighter shades are really cool. Um, Emmy brings up a good point too, that they said they're intrigued by it, but feel like it's not something you can figure out until you see it in person. I feel that way too. I totally get that. I feel like it's hard to look at this stuff online and imagine what it's gonna feel like, especially like the shimmers in this eyeshadow palette. Like obviously this color story, it's not really my bag, but I am, you know, curious. What are these shimmers gonna be like? Cause they look kind of, look a little bland. 
a little bland in the photo, but we don't know until we see them on the eyes. This, I'm like, the Virgo in me just took a back seat. The Sagittarius moon popped out and it's like, yep, we want it. It's purple and sparkly. We don't care what the formula is about. It's purple and sparkly. So that's the, this is the item that I'm the most intrigued by. What even is that? Is that a liquid, high, liquid eyeshadow? I don't really like liquid eyeshadow. That's why I'm saying this is like full Sag Moon just like hopping out here because I know it's impractical. I know I probably won't use it, but I do want it. What is it? This is such a long post trend mood. I don't even know what that is. Is that a lip gloss? Do we know what this is? I cannot verify on trend mood. She, it's too long of a post. Is this a lip gloss? Is this a lip gloss or is this a liquid eyeshadow? Because I kind of want it either way unless it's really expensive i don't know i really don't know and that's a fair point donna brings up that like ariana is that florence by mills is definitely more like natural and glowy whereas like ariana grande's brand is more like glammy and audacious i totally agree with you on that especially with the colorful highlighters i really think it's just the packaging and the vibe i don't know for some reason the vibe like, I don't know, you like look at this and you don't see the name on it. Don't you just think Florence by Mills? I don't know. I really feel like she put the trademark on that color purple for that year that that brand launched. Maybe that's the only reason I'm feeling that way. And I feel like her little palettes too, like Florence by Mills palettes are also kind of like basic and neutral. So maybe that's why I'm associating them together. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, what's everyone saying? Yes. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that these highlighters were single eyeshadows. Something I don't know. They just didn't look like highlighters to me. Maybe it's the design. I'm not used to seeing this type of design in a highlighter. Also, it's hard to gauge size. You know, like someone was saying earlier, I feel like we have to see the products in person to know like how we're feeling because I, I can't gauge size on this at all. Um, yeah. Oh, and Polychromo said it doesn't feel very Ariana, but what her by what her makeup artist usually does. But they appreciate the deeper highlighter shades. Yes, I feel the same way. I feel like it's not very Ariana, but also I feel like her makeup is kind of basic. Like she wears the big eyeliner, which you know I love. She wears graphic liner, which I can see that she's coming out with her own eyeliner. Like it looks like honestly, it just looks like kind of a basic felt tip eyeliner. But that is cool to see her coming out with her own eyeliner. So I guess we'll see how it is. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I don't know what I was expecting, but I just feel like it's kind of, kind of boring to me. Um, okay, I'm looking at a different post on Trend Nude here. So looking at all the different lipstick shades. Yeah, they're all just kind of nudes. Oh, okay, the liquid eyeshadows are the little ones. They're like these little ones. I think that purple component I was looking at, oh, it is lip gloss. Okay. I was hoping this shade would be an eyeshadow. I thought that would be cool. They have another purple eyeshadow, but it's not It's not like that lilac -y shade I liked. Oh, I don't know, man. It's not just, it's not really what I was expecting. Um, and, you know, people are saying it's kind of a similar letdown to how House Labs was, and I totally agree with that. I got kind of roasted in a video talking about House Labs. I made a video, like, last summer, like, summer 2020, talking about celebrity makeup brands, and I mentioned that House Labs just isn't what I expected it to be from Lady Gaga, and everyone in the comments was like, You don't understand Lady Gaga. You don't understand the vision. And I was like, okay, like, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not what I expected. You know, it's okay. It's okay if it's not what you expect. I know Angelic Venom is saying, like, wait, they're highlighters? I know. Don't they look like they're eyeshadows? I was so confused by it. The purple lip product is really cool. Purple lip product is very cool. I feel like this collection is just, I'm going to start going in with my little eyeshadows by the way I'm literally just gonna be throwing it everywhere and I mean that literally I just kind of want to do like little dots everywhere I think that could be fun um but what was I saying I feel like the collection is just a little eclectic to me like it feels like like Angelic Venom was saying like purple lip gloss so freaking cool so unique so fun very interested in that 
and then a bunch of neutral eyeshadows. So I guess some could argue that that's giving a good range, which I will, I will hear you in that argument. But I also do feel like it's a little incohesive. I mean, one, this is just a ton of makeup to launch, like, all at once. So that in itself surprised me. I really, I saw that lipstick component and I was like, oh, I bet she'll launch, like, a lipstick and maybe, like, an eyeshadow palette. And then she came out with lipstick and eyeshadow and liquid eyeshadow and lip gloss and eyeliner and lashes. So, I mean, I got to give it to them. That is like a big collection. Although also they probably did that because it's launching near the holidays and they want people to buy it as gifts. So I guess they shouldn't be that surprised that they launched a full collection all at once. Hi, Betsy. Betsy's here. And she said hi to me. So I'm saying hi back. I'm so happy you're here. Hello. I keep saying hi to everybody as they come in. Ooh. Yes, also, play promo. It's like you're in my freaking head because they said that with the purple and green highlighter shades, they thought that those could be like face powder shades because those can be like color correcting. Yes, I thought the same thing. My train of thought was single eyeshadows. Oh, they're probably face powders that are color correctors. And then highlighters, question mark. So I'm not, we're on the same wavelength here. But yeah, that would have been interesting, I guess. I don't know if I would have necessarily bought color correcting face powders. I tend to like my color correctors to be creams so I can like blend them out more. But it did kind of give that vibe. I just feel like the highlighters don't look all that shimmery. I'm interested to see swatches. Does anyone know? Are there swatches available yet? I didn't see any on Trend Mood, but I might have just missed them. I don't know. So if there are swatches, I would love to take a look. But for some reason, just looking at the picture, they're, they're looking like they're going to be a little chalky. I don't know. Purely going off the picture, but they look like they might be a little chalky. I hope they're not. I always want makeup to be good. I don't want any makeup to be bad. But they look, they're, they're looking a little chalky in the photo. Um, <laughs> Amanda says, um, to me, REM Beauty is similar to the Kardashians Beauty Brands, a.k.a. Claire's Makeup. You said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can definitely see what you're saying. I think it does give a little bit of Claire's makeup vibes. Aside from that lipstick component, which is like maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen. It looks like a rocket ship about to launch, which I think is so interesting. But yeah, the rest of it is definitely a little bland, um, especially the eyeshadow palette. I don't know. I guess there's not much you can do to be creative with an eyeshadow palette, although you could have put outer space on it like Midas Cosmetics did with the Basic B in their Perception palette. Although, also don't do that, because that would have been copying them. But, I don't know, she could have made it shaped like a rocket ship or something. I feel like they put a lot of effort into that lipstick component, and then the rest of it is just kind of like, where you know, like, less effort put into that. I don't know. Um, my reading the comments noises. <laughs> I will say blue lip gloss. It is, yes, Han, I agree with you. It is hard to come across like a purpley blue lip gloss like that. Um, so I do think it's really cool that she's coming out with some unusual lip gloss colors. Although I feel like I don't ever see her wear unusual lip gloss, but I mean, again, you gotta, you gotta reach a larger market. So I know that if she were only to release makeup that she wore, it would probably like just be black eyeliner and neutral eyeshadow palette. So obviously you gotta think from a marketing perspective. We gotta be business minded, you guys. We gotta think about how these products are gonna sell how these products are going to end up under a Christmas tree. So, um, yeah, I guess, you know, that makes sense in that sense. That kind of leads me into my next topic. We can still talk about REM Beauty, too. We can talk about it the whole time if you want. But that kind of leads me to my next topic, which I am dying to know your answers. Do you guys like receiving makeup as gifts? And do you buy people makeup as gifts? Because I feel like... It is such a tough line to walk because I, I I do buy makeup as gifts for people. I have five nieces. Do I have five nieces? No, I have four nieces. I have four nieces who, um, some of which aren't that far apart in age than me. I have two older sisters who all have kids. So I have four nieces 
who are all for the most part pretty into makeup and I'm like the cool makeup aunt, self-elected. I have not, they have not told me that, but I am self-elected myself as the cool makeup aunt. So I do like buying them makeup for Christmas, but I never know. I'm like, is that a good gift? Do they want this? They're very sweet. And of course they always say thank you, but I'm like, do you think that's like a gift that people actually want? You know, like getting makeup for Christmas. Uh, my boyfriend's brother got me an eyeshadow palette for Christmas a couple years ago. It was really sweet. I really liked receiving that because to me it felt very thoughtful. Like he paid attention to what I liked. And it was even a brand that I liked too. It was a ColourPop palette. Um, I did declutter it. So sorry, Nick. I'm just not, I outgrew it, okay? It's not a style I like anymore. But um, it was it was a very sweet gift. Let's see what everyone's saying. Thank you, you guys are liking my, my clown makeup I have going on right now. I did this similar thing when I did, um, when I duped the Lizzie McGuire ColourPop palette. I put a bunch of dots all over my eyes like this, and I thought it was so fun, which was actually recreating a makeup look from another makeup artist who I'm going to pull up right now because she's so talented. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find the look, but the makeup artist is Noelle Play on Instagram hold her name up here, Noel Play. That's N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, Play. Super, super talented. She is the first person who inspired me to do dots. She did like a Lizzie McGuire look earlier in the year and I she did a bunch of dots and I was like, wow, dots. Dots are very much the moment. I'm very into it. I'm trying to find a look, but she posts a lot of makeup looks. Oh, she's so talented. Did she delete that makeup look? Why can't I find it? Hmm, very interesting. Okay, well I can't find it. She seems cooler than me and like somebody who maybe deletes old makeup looks as they improve their skills. I don't know, but still very cool. Um, ooh, okay, Donna loves makeup as gifts. That's exciting, that's good to hear Donna. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> but she also says that people ask her exactly what she wants. So that, you know, that might be the key there, is to ask people what they want first. I am not great about that with gifts. When I like to surprise people, you know, I like it to be a surprise what they get. But um, it probably would be good to ask people what they want. That's a, that's a hot tip, hot tip coming in from Donna here. Ask people what they want for makeup before buying it. So I am taking notes. Um, Sandy says that she always buys makeup as gifts. That's good to hear, too. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Polychromo says, I try to gift people makeup because of my self-appointed exceptional taste, but I don't have many people in my life that wear it. Yes, same. I'm like, that's how I feel, why I don't ask first before I just buy the makeup, because I'm like, I know what to get you. I know what you like. I know what you'll wear. And it's like, too funny. Um, probably not the best way to live my life, but I feel like, you know, I know, like, last year I got all of my nieces, um, elf liquid eyeshadows, you know, those little elf, like, they're supposed to be kind of like the Stila glittering glows, but elf came out with their own version. I got them all those little glitter liquid eyeshadows because, you know, none of them wear a ton of makeup. Some of my nieces wear more than others. None of them wear a whole ton of makeup, but I feel like who doesn't love a sparkly eyeshadow, you know? And I feel like that's such a good one-and-done eyeshadow. And I got them all, like, this really pretty, like, rose gold shade, which I feel like looks so cute on them. And I feel like rose gold is a pretty universally light shade, and it's also a pretty universally flattering shade. Like, no matter what your hair color, skin tone, eye color, I feel like rose gold just looks so good on everybody. So, um, yeah, I got them that last year, and I think I also got them all lip balms. I think I got them lip glosses. I did a lot of shopping on e.l.f. last year. They had some really good Cyber Monday sales, which I did miss and shop on Cyber Tuesday. <laughs> Cyber Tuesday. There's no Cyber Tuesday. I did miss the Cyber Monday sales last year and buy everything on Tuesday, but they still had some good sales on that Tuesday. So that's, that's where I got most of my makeup gifts last year powdery, getting a little powdery on this palette. Han also says that they like getting makeup gift cards like Ulta or Sephora. Yes, that is a very good point. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, 
I just, when I give gift cards, I'm like, I don't know how much to give. I don't have a ton of money to give everybody like a $25 gift card, which is why like last year I went with buying people gifts from e.l.f. because e.l.f. is such a nice affordable makeup brand, but also I know the quality is really good. So for me, that was like, my thing, you know, since I was like, I can't afford to get like four people a $25 gift card and buy all my other gifts too. So I felt like buying from e.l.f. was a good thing, but getting gift cards definitely is like probably the superior gift to get because then you can just buy whatever you want and you can use your own makeup taste and you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to like something. So that is, that is a good tip. Maybe I'll have to just get everybody like, I don't know, $15 gift cards. Can you even do a $15 for a gift card? The other thing with Sephora is like, what can you get for $15? You know, not a lot. So oh, I don't know. And this is interesting. A lot of you are saying that you don't know people who like makeup as much as you do. So you don't have anyone to get makeup gifts for. That's very interesting. I'm lucky because I have four nieces who all are like at least somewhat into makeup, even if they're not as into it as I am. Like, I know, I know one of my nieces asked for a Morphe palette a couple years ago for Christmas, and I was like, all right, makeup gals on my list, thrilled about it, and I know two of my older nieces are in college, and they wear makeup, so like, you know, as if I catch you wearing mascara, I have interpreted you as a makeup wearer, and I will probably look to buy you something makeup related. I like to get people gifts that we can relate on, you know? Like, if we both like makeup, it's fun to get you makeup as a gift. You guys, this color might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake. That's okay. We're absolutely, positively gonna work it out. May have went in with a bit too dark of a blue. We are taking things into the eyebrows now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of these colors on, and then I'm gonna maybe put some white eyeliner over it, and that will, like, be a little pop will pop over all these colors. That could be fun. I love everybody saying that they also gift people makeup because of their extensive makeup knowledge. I know it really is like, <laughs> it's quite the superiority complex we all get when it comes to buying makeup for other people. I'm like, yes, I see the vision. I see your face. I see what's going to look good on you. And I'm making the decision of what to get you. So too funny. Hi, Beverly. I'm so happy you're here. You made it to the live. Yes, we're so happy. Oh my gosh. Everybody's here. We're having such a good time. Yes. <laughs> An existential gal says, give me all the makeup gifts. I don't mind them at all because I just love makeup so much. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was me growing up. I would take any makeup. I did not care about the brand. I think one year for Christmas, my mom got me this giant eyeshadow palette that probably had like 50 shades in it. The quality was absolute garbage, but it didn't need to be good because I was just, you know, playing around with it. But I remember that was like my favorite thing I got that year. I was like, oh my gosh, I have a makeup collection now. That was like the first ever like big makeup thing I had been given. And I was like, wow, I'm like an adult now. I was probably like, 10 when I got that but I was like I'm an adult now I'm grown up this is me becoming a woman and I have my own makeup kit now <laughs> what is this tangent I'm getting off on I don't know but yeah getting makeup as a gift is really exciting you know now I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like you know like I have so much makeup that I feel bad asking for it. Um, also, I just, like, I, I don't like to ask for specific things for Christmas. Like, anytime someone asks me, like, what do you want? I'm like, healthcare? I don't know. I don't know what to ask for. <laughs> I really struggle to ask for anything as a gift, but especially makeup. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you because, like, I like so many indie makeup brands too. And you know how indie makeup brands launches are like so specific and you have to be there like right when it launches at a certain time. So I'm, I feel weird being like, ah, uh, like stay up till midnight or stay up till 2 a.m. so you can get the new Kaleidos palette for me. Like, I, I don't know, I don't wanna ask for that. Maybe I should though, I don't know. What's everyone saying? Yeah, so many of you are saying that you don't know a lot of people who love makeup as much as you. So interesting. 
I mean, I say so interesting. I don't either, but I at least have my nieces who are like into makeup at least a little bit. So I do get to buy them makeup, which is so, 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 so fun. Um, my sisters wear makeup. They don't wear a ton of makeup though. I usually get them more like beauty stuff. Like I'll get them like hand creams and lip balms and like spa stuff. I feel like those are always like a safer gift if you don't know what type of makeup somebody likes to wear. Like, I feel like who's going to be mad at getting a really good hand cream? As long as they don't have a sensitivity to fragrance, you got to keep that in mind. But I've never been mad to receive, like, a good lip balm or a good hand cream. Oh my gosh, my aunt just got me a tinted lip balm for my birthday, and it smells like chocolate, and I've been wearing it every single day. It's so, so good. I'm always so thrilled to receive lip balms and hand creams and stuff like that. Skincare is a little tougher because everybody's got a different skin type. And even if you think, you know, you can interpret somebody's skin type, you really have to ask because you never know if someone's going to be sensitive to fragrance. You know, I've definitely been gifted skincare in the past that I unfortunately had to re-gift or to give away to someone else just because my skin is so dang sensitive. It just, it really can't use a lot. Ooh, thank you, Donna, reminding everybody to give the stream a thumbs up. Thank you so much. That was super sweet of you. Give me a thumbs up. I'll give you a thumbs up. Thumbs on up, thumbs and up, everybody. Um, ooh, what are we talking about? Ooh, that's so nice. Oh, Han got a, a blue lip gloss for their bat mitzvah. That's so fun. Oh, I've never had a blue lip gloss before. That sounds so cool. I want to branch out with my lip glosses. I have like all nudes and then I have like a couple of fun colors like I do have one really fun lip gloss I know this is not what this video is about but I am going to try on the most fun lip gloss I have for you right now because it's so cool this is from colored rain this is the shade tropical vibes and I know you're like that's your most fun lip gloss color really that's the most fun lip gloss color but wait till you see this shade it's so cool okay let's see big moment I know you guys are probably on a lag, so you're not even seeing this yet, but that's okay. Okay, so this is it. Ready? What's going on? Holy moly. It's like green. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the shift on here. I'll put on a little more. Yeah, so this is the shade Tropical Vibes. <laughs> it's not the most flattering in this light. But it has a really cool, like, greeny gold shift to it that's not showing up on here. But this is probably the most unique lip gloss shade I have, so I definitely need to get some more. <laughs> but I do like unique lip gloss shades. And this one makes me feel so cool, especially in the summertime when the sun hits. Oh my gosh, the tropical vibes, the tropical vibes are here. So, yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, existential gal who big name reveal is Carly. Hi, Carly. And is the person that would be sensitive to scents and hand creams. Me too, Carly. It's so sad. I would love to be able to use more fun hand creams. I used to get um, an Ipsy subscription and they would always send me skincare with fragrance in it. And so I would, you know, try to repurpose the moisturizers or hydrating masks as hand creams. And my hands would be red and burning because my not just my face skin is sensitive my hand skin is sensitive everybody's sensitive it's really it's quite a bore I didn't realize I was still zoomed in zoom you out there thank you some of you like my gloss that's very exciting thank you so much Ooh, Amanda says Alme has a blue lip gloss pardon me I didn't know that also when's the last time you heard about Alme wow that is I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that because my drugstore does have Alme stuff and I always just walk right by it because I feel like they don't usually have anything that's really up my alley. But, you know, remember when Alme used to be that brand? I remember being, like, younger and going to the drugstore, going to the old CVS with my mom. And I would, you know, be bopping around the makeup section even though I couldn't buy anything. And I would always look at the Alme stuff. They used to have those eyeshadows that looked like they were in the shape of an eye. And it told you, like, where to put each shade. And they would have, like, the lightest shade for your brow bone. And, like, a medium tone shade for, I guess, your crease. And then, like, a deep shade for your lash line. So, innovation, excitement. We love it. Let's 
what's everybody saying? That's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that. And Lunars is saying that NYX has a few blue lip glosses. Wow, Han, everybody's got you freaking covered with these blue lip glosses. Han said, I like blue lip gloss, and everyone said, recommendations, recommendations, recommendations. I love it. That is my favorite thing about the makeup community is that if you say that you are looking for a particular type of makeup, everyone's like, I got you. We're, we're going to find you what you're looking for. And I love that. Let's see. Blurple. Blurple is such a funny word. Wow. Wow. Color Green has Blurple. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Lunar is coming in with all of the hot recommendations. Blurple is such a funny word. I love to hear it too. Okay. What am I, what am I missing? I'm trying to fill in my gaps here. I got so caught up talking to you guys that I just kind of, um, forgot what I was doing as I often do. I just picked up the wrong color. Where's my paper towel? That is so cool. Oh, apparently Alme is like known for their lip colors. Apparently that's the, the fun thing to get from Alme. So I'll have to be on the lookout for those. I know they have some lip products that every time I walk by, they, I kind of notice them because they have like some fun prints on them. They have some, you know, some travel themed prints on their lip glosses. So that's interesting. Um, I just feel like, you know, they don't do a lot of advertising, so I feel like that's why I don't hear about Alme a lot. Or, you know, all these other makeup brands. It's like every YouTube video I watch, they're like, Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay must spend more on advertising than anybody. Because I see them advertise to me constantly, and I don't think I've made an Urban Decay purchase since I bought the Perversion Mascara in, like, 2015. So, not sure what they're going for. Fill in some freaking gaps here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Hi, Cecily. I'm so happy you made it. No, you didn't miss it at all. What have, what have we been going for? 41 minutes. How have we been talking for 41 minutes already? The time truly flies by when you are having fun with your pals. My eyes are not the same. I didn't really intend them to be. They do look pretty different, though. But at the same time, I'm not going anywhere. And sometimes you just have to have fun with your makeup and just put a bunch of different colors all over your eyes and see where the brush takes you. So that's what I'm doing here tonight. I'm just here to have a good time. So that's really all I'm about. Um, okay. Okay. Eh, let's move. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now my masterpiece is complete. Okay, let's see, where is my white eyeliner? Okay, where's my white eyeliner? Okay, I'm gonna have to reach into my ottoman. Surprise, it's my live streaming pants that I wear every day, but that's okay. Where is my white eyeliner? Is it even in here? It might not even be in here. I did that for nothing. Okay, in here. It is in here. I found it. I knew you guys were like, oh no, is she gonna find it? Whoa, this is so exciting. What a whirlwind of a live stream. You guys, relax. I found it. It's all good. All good. Let me find a good brush to use this with. Not the brush I want. You would think I would take out the things that I need before the live stream. But that wouldn't be fun. Oh, my brushes are dirty and I don't have any water. We're improvising. I'll read that. Read the chat. Yes, Donna, I agree. Urban Decay is coming off a little bit desperate lately. I definitely have felt that vibe, too. Um, ever since they got bought by Estee Lauder. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That is kind of like the kiss of death in beauty. I would have to agree with you there. It does feel like brands get bought by Estee Lauder. And they lose the edge. Which, you know, I get it. I'm sure Estee Lauder, you know, is a big brand. They're trying to appeal to a lot of people. But, um, you know, it's just, it's not that exciting anymore. I used to think Urban Decay stuff looked so cool. You know, I haven't really, I have, like I said, I've only bought the Perversion Mascara for them. So I'm not exactly a stan by any means. But I used to long for their palettes all the time. Do you remember the Born to Run palette? I remember that came out and that was on my wish list for so long 
And now I constantly see ads for it at like JCPenney for like $10. And now I'm like, I don't even want it anymore. You know, boring to me now. But at a time, at a point, that palette was in like everybody's favorites videos. And so many people were using the Born to Run palette and it looked so edgy and so cool. But, um, yeah. Ooh. That's a bad feeling. Uh... Oh my gosh. What did I see Pat McGrath gloss? Now I'm scrolling back. What are we talking about with Pat McGrath gloss? Wait, you tried a Pat McGrath? That Pat McGrath had a blue lip gloss? That's so cool. Han says that they don't like the Pat McGrath scent. That is shocking to me, Han, because I love the scent of Pat McGrath lip gloss. I don't know if it's the same scent. Maybe it's not the same scent as before. But the lip glosses I have from them right now smell like cream soda, which is one of my favorite smells ever. So I really like them. But, you know. Yes, everyone's saying Urban Decay used to used to do it for them, and now it just doesn't do it anymore. I'm glad we're all on the same page with that. Yes, the Cyber Palette does look dusty, Beverly. I totally agree with you. And I have friends who bought it and swatched it. And I, I just feel like it's, I will say it does look prettier in person. Like seeing people swatches of it, I'm like, okay, it looks less dusty, but it's still dusty. You know, like if you, I feel like people who aren't into indie shadows and single shadows and whatnot are more into it. And that's, you know, that's great. I'm happy for them. But I feel like those of us that buy like indie multi-chromes and indie duo chromes are like, I'm not impressed at all, you know? Don't you feel like that's a thing where like sometimes mainstream brands will come out with a duochrome and people who only pay attention to the mainstream brands are like, wow, this is incredible. And people who buy indie brands are like, this is chalky. But I don't know. It's not just me stirring the pot. Who knows? I, Pirate James, I added setting spray because I don't have any water in the room. Normally I would not add setting spray. It does work. It honestly, it does, it works fine. Um, I just don't like to waste setting spray, so it's not ideal for me. But you can add setting spray, you can add mixing medium. Water activating liners just need something, just something wet to activate them. So I used my NYX Spare With Me setting spray, which clearly is very well loved. I need to get another one. This stuff is awesome. Oh my gosh, Yasmin is sending lots of love from the UK. Hello, I'm so happy you're here. Happy, I'm sending you lots of love from, from New York, the U.S., U, I was going to say United, New York, United States, America. Um, so weird. What a country. Well, it's America, not the U.K. The U.K. seems great. I've never been. I'd like to go. Um, yes, are we talking about the Kristen Leanne palette? That was wild. I remember when that came out being like, whoa, this looks incredible. And now I feel like the layout of those palettes are very funny. The Kaleidoscope palette she did was very funny. It was such a random layout. I didn't even dislike the colors. Like the colors looked really cool, but the layout was just like, what? <laughs> like it really just felt like they're doing things just to do things, not really for any particular reason. Oh my gosh, everyone's doing high fives. Oh my gosh, the Pat McGrath's mascara is scented. That's nuts. What the heck? Why would you scent a mascara? I feel like the last place you want something to be scented is on your eyes, especially so close to like your pupils too. Like I know Too Faced scents some of their um, eyeshadow because um, I've had friends that have had their scented eyeshadow palettes before, but that seems like the smell kind of like dissipates on the eyes, but mascara, oh my gosh, I would not put that anywhere near my eyes, my goodness, my goodness, ooh, oh, that's right, the Eternals collection was Urban Decay too, I forgot about that, they always secure like the big collabs with like the big intellectual properties, and I don't know how, because <laughs> makeup's just not that impressive, um, like, didn't they did they did a Game of Thrones collab a few years ago that everyone was like, what? Like, it looked very bland, very boring. But the Eternals collab looked okay. I definitely saw some pops of color in there. I know my, my pal Vanessa Cut Creaser on Instagram, she did a sponsored post with them, and she added some mixing medium to the gold shade and used it as graphic liner. And she's just such a genius. It looked so beautiful on her. So I did like that aspect of the Eternals collab. Um, yes. 
Oh my gosh, Han, you're 19. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. That's great. 19. What a good age. I got my nose pierced at 19. And then it closed up by the time I turned 20. So I gotta get my nose pierced again. This is fake, by the way. For those of you who don't know, I feel like I'm always trying to scream it from the rooftops. I don't want you guys to think I'm cooler than I am. But this is a fake nose ring. I do want to get it re-pierced again, though. I'm always threatening to. I just gotta make an appointment. It's just hard for me to make appointments, you know, as a nervous person. But I gotta just do it. Or maybe I just need to walk in somewhere. So, we'll see. I don't know. I'm not promising anything, but we will see. Been working on this wing for so long. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is here. This is the only, this is a, a shop miss A brush I could find, so I'm just going with it. Yes! Oh my gosh, yeah, that's right. Why I always forget the externals is Disney. Marvel is Disney now because they bought them, so to be fair, yes, Pirate James. Disney is collect, collabing with everybody, especially Colourpop. Oh my gosh, Colourpop gets so many Disney collabs. But I feel like that's smart with them, smart for Disney to do, because ColourPop is, like, you know, a more affordable brand, whereas Urban Decay is a little more high-end, whereas, like, the brands that ColourPop collabs with, I feel like, are targeted towards a younger audience, whereas maybe Eternals is aimed towards an older audience, and that's where they go with the more expensive brand. Maybe. That's probably not a mind-blown moment. You guys are probably like, yep, exactly, duh. Um, but you know what? I'm figuring things out. There we go. Now we're getting graphic with it. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, Han, you're 19 and have a tattoo. So much cooler than me. So much freaking cooler than me. I would love to get a tattoo. I want to get Bert tattooed on my forearm real bad. I just want to find a tattoo artist that can execute my vision. Um, my vision is just a cartoonish version of Bert. So, probably not that hard to do, but, you know, you know, I, I overthink things, so I'm, I'm worried about it. Oh, gosh. Gotta focus. I'm messing it up. No, I'm not. It's fine. I'll make it, I'll make it work, everybody. Just hold your breath, and I'll make it work. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. I'm, like, trying to read the chat as I do my graphic liner. I gotta just do the graphic liner for a moment. Yeah, this is not my favorite graphic liner brush, but that's okay. It's a bit thick. It's a bit thick. Well, that's all right. I'm just having to stay precise. Okay, everyone can breathe now. What are you guys breathing? A Burt tattoo would be fun. A Burt tattoo would be fun. I totally agree. I gotta just go somewhere. You know, I just, I want to find a good place to get it done. Especially if I'm going to get it on my forearm. Like, that's a very visible spot, I say, as my forearms are not visible. But in warmer weather, they'll be very visible. So, Burt in a box. Cecily, that's a good idea. I love the idea of Burt in a box because he is often in a box. He loves hanging out in boxes. I wish he would come hang out with me now. I don't know where he is. He was here. He was here up until, like, right before I started the stream, and then he heard me say I was going to start, and he was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go eat my dinner and not be present, which is fine. You know, he's an independent boy. He's grown up, so it's fine. <laughs> it is a really cute emoji. I didn't know there was a cat in the box emoji. That is really cute. I am screaming at that. Those of you who are watching later and can't see the chat. Can you see the chat when you watch later? I don't know. But Cecily shared a really cute emoji of a cat in the box. And I'm screaming. I'm screaming about it. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. I don't like this brush. I'm getting big clown energy with this eye look. I'm not mad at it, though. Just calling it what it is. All right. We'll even that out. We'll absolutely even that out. Guys, I'm going to be fully ready to go on my walk after this <laughs> about the town. It's like my routine as I do my, my funny makeup looks, my, you know, my, my colorful, my bold makeup looks. And then my boyfriend and I walk around our neighborhood and everyone goes, what is she wearing? 
That's okay. Honestly, I don't get too many looks because it's New York and everybody's kind of, I don't know. Not everybody's weird. I just feel like people don't notice weird stuff as much. Um, whereas when I go home, you know, back to the burbs, go visit my parents, everyone's like, what is that color you have on your eyes? I don't know what that voice is. Um, oh, okay, Donna, let me know you can watch the live chat back of the video. I didn't know that. I should do that next time I watch live streams, because I do like to watch replays of live streams. I just don't usually watch with the chat. I didn't know you could. Huh. How about that? How about that? Ooh. Okay, existential gal who told me before their name is Carly brought up a good question, which is what palettes would everybody want from the two Beauty Bay Disney collabs? I am behind. What are the two Beauty Bay Disney collabs? I don't even, I didn't even know they did that. It's so hard to keep up. There's so much new makeup all the, all the freaking time, you know? I haven't done a, an anti-haul in a while, so I gotta go do some research. I probably should do one soon, um, because I like them. I like to do them soon, so. Yes, yes, Emmy, I have to remind people I'm the main character on my walk. Exactly. I'm like, look at me. Um, where are my colorful eyeshadows, please? Call me the main character. Thank you so much. Yeah, I do prefer to use water activated liner with water because this is drying out faster than my water does. But what are you gonna do? I don't have water and I don't feel like leaving the room. Oh my gosh. Oh, so they're mini palettes. That's the palettes that um Beauty Bay is selling for the Disney palettes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh, no, hon, bring it back to the Pat McGrath lip gloss because you gotta educate us. Oh no, don't give yourself a reaction. Your lips are burning. Wipe it off right away. Wipe it off right away. That's so, you know, it's, it's so hard with makeup. You never know how you're going to react to something. That's why they always say, do a patch test. Do I ever do a patch test? No. I don't often do a pouch test, but I should be better about doing pouch tests because you never know how you're going to react to makeup, especially with a brand. You know, you could be allergic to a brand across the board, or it could just be, you know, a particular product. You never know. Ooh, I gotta add some more liquid to this. Add some more liquid to this. Mixing up my water activated liner. Oh my gosh. Beauty Bay always has sales, don't they? I feel like if you buy something on Beauty Bay for full price, you're getting scammed. You gotta just wait for a sale. I, I say as I've made one Beauty Bay purchase my entire life, but I did get it on sale. So <laughs> I think I got free shipping and 20% off, so that was a pretty sweet deal. Um, but yeah. I got the Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette, and I got a Glisten Cosmetics Water Activated Liner when my first Beauty Bay purchase, and I want to make another one, because I will say, like, really good customer service. They shipped it out right away, and even though it was coming from Europe, it came to me pretty quickly. Like, it didn't take that long to get to me, so that was impressive, you know? I'm not someone who needs, like, instantaneous satisfaction. Like, I don't care if something takes a little longer to get to me. Especially working in customer service in retail, I'm like, I'm very patient when it comes to waiting for shipping now because I know how hard it is um, and how backed up all of the shipping carriers are. So I'm very patient, but I will say Beauty Bay was, was pretty quick, you know? Yeah. What's on your lips? Savannah, are you asking me what's on my lips? I, I don't even know who we're talking to. If you're talking to me, then I am wearing this colored rain lip gloss in tropical vibes. It's got like a cool like greeny gold flip to it. Really, really cool. I'm a big fan of it. Where's my eyeliner? Oh my gosh, Beauty Bay came out with a Bambi palette. That's cute. I love Bambi. What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart is Bambi. If I think about it too long, I'll cry. Yes, and Star is correct. Beauty Bay's um, shipping is a lot cheaper than a lot of other places. So I was really, I was shocked by that, frankly. Considering it was an international purchase, I was shocked by how inexpensive it was. Sorry, I'm like hiding my makeup. I'm on top of my mirror. I'm so focused over here. 
There we go. We're making it work with this brush. Hi, Karas. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're here. Hello. Wow. Oh my gosh, everyone joining the stream. So happy to see everybody. And I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about this um, Disney collab with Beauty Bay that I somehow missed was happening. I saw that Beauty Bay came out with a couple of big palettes recently, and I thought that was the most recent launch. I didn't realize there was something aside from that. Ooh, she's focused again. Me. It's, it's me. I'm focused. It's coming together. Look is coming together. How's it been an hour already? I always tell myself I'm going to keep the stream like exactly to an hour and then here I am. Post an hour. Still, still yapping, but I like talking to you guys, so it's really not a big deal. I like talking to everybody. Thank you, Savannah. You should totally check out Colored Rain's lip glosses. They have a really good formula. It's really comfortable. I love all of their liquid lipsticks. Like, their matte liquid lipstick is my favorite matte liquid lipstick formula. I think it's so underrated. Colored Rain has such a good lipstick formula, and they have, like, every color you can ever imagine. And they also put a lot of their shades on sale for $5 all the time, so it's really, it's all good stuff over there at Colored Rain. I like their eyeshadow formula. I gotta get one of their empty palettes, too, because they sell these giant empty palettes for single shadows, and I feel like I would never need to get one again, so... That's on my wish list right now. Thank you, Cecily. Cecily says my look reminds her of stained glass. I love that. I love that so much. I love stained glass. Oh, so pretty. Wish I had a stained glass window in my apartment. That would be really cool. What I should have done was tweeze some of these hairs on my eyelids because then my eyeliner would apply better. Where's my tweezers? I should have done it before, but I need tweezers real bad. Okay. Ooh. Sorry for all the clanking. Sorry for all the clanking noises. I have this one hair that's like driving me absolutely nuts. Yes. Out of here. I always say that in my graphic liner tutorials, I talk about the importance of tweezing the hairs on your eyelids. And I feel like it seems like a frivolous step, but it's really not because when you're in the middle of doing your water activated liner, you're like, how do I have all these hairs on my eyes that are making it hard to apply smoothly? So tweezers, just my little elf, my $1 elf tweezers come in really handy at a time like this. Ooh, color runs. Ooh, that's so cool. Donna's talking about it reminds... Oh, I know what you mean by color runs now. It took me a second. Donna said it reminds her of color runs, which, you know, those things that people do when they, like, run and they throw the, the colorful chalk. But Donna says that that's actually taken from India's holy celebrations. I'm sorry, is it holy or holly? So sorry if I said it wrong, but I do... I can visualize what you're talking about. And, oh, that's so nice. I love that it reminds you of that. Hi, Frosty! Oh my gosh, yes, of course you can join. I'm so happy you're here. Hello! Welcome to the live. I feel like I need to greet every new person with a Broadway number. So Broadway, Broadway jams. Whew. Sorry for the silence. Had to focus on that for a second. Also just going to give you a heads up that my camera is going to die, but it's okay. I have a backup battery ready to go. And as we've learned from previous lives, when the camera dies, all I have to do is replace the battery. You'll be able to hear me the whole time. You know, passengers stay in your seats. <gasps> when did Bert get here? Why didn't anyone tell me he was here? Could you guys even see him? Can you see there's a baby in the background? There he is. Hi, Bertram. Hi, little guy. Hi, little man. What a sweet boy. I'm so happy he's here. Oh my goodness. Wow. I didn't even know he was here. What a good guy. Guys, did anyone see him come in? He's so sneaky. He's so sly. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, well, 
the eyes are nearly done. So, should I put anything on the lower lash line? What do you think? Lower lash line or just keep it as is? I'm going to put some mascara on. Will I give you a chance to think about that? And, um, yeah, let me put some mascara on. I probably got so much eyeliner on my lashes. Probably not going to be an easy time doing the mascara, but I'm going to do it regardless. Oh, Bert, everybody's saying hello to you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> he opened his little eyes. He went. He loves, he loves when you guys say hello to him. He's a really sweet guy. I know he's a cat. He doesn't fully understand the concept of the internet, but he loves being greeted, and he loves being told that he's cute. Thank you to those of you who said that you liked my look. That was really super sweet of you. Thank you. Trying not to... Why do I always botch mascara on my live streams? It's so interesting. I do so well in real life and on live streams. I think it's because I'm trying to talk at the same time. But what am I going to sit here in silence? Why do I mascara? No way. No way. <laughs> Proceeds to sit in silence and do my mascara. My gosh. Okay, I'm just trying to do an okay job. Very good. I should check in on the chat. What's the chat saying? Oh my gosh, bye, Emmy. Have a good night. I'm so happy you came. And you made it for the Burt cameo. Yes, I love it. I'm so happy. Okay. Carly told me to keep the lower lash line as is, but Adeli said yes to the lower lash line. Oh no. Oh no. What will I do? <laughs> ah, oh no, we're torn. Yes, Carly, I'm kind of the same way where I'm a very big fan of top heavy eyeshadow looks, mostly because I always do too much in the lower lash line. Like I always smudge it more than looks good. You know how like a little bit of smudged eyeshadow looks good on the lower lash line and then you accidentally take it too far and then like your whole face is eyeshadow? I do that. I do that. So I feel like it's safer for me to not put eyeshadow on the lower lash line but I don't know. Maybe we should do it anyways. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. I still have time. I'm still doing like my eighth coat of mascara because I can't, can't focus and do it at the same time. Just trying to make them look separated. That's all I'm trying to do here, you guys. If you guys could just separate, talking about lashes, not you guys. You guys could just be separated. That would be fine with me. If I were better at doing false lashes on the fly, I would put some on. Um, I have gotten a lot better at false lashes, but the way I do them that is successful for me is I use a black lash eyeliner adhesive. I have one from Kiss Lashes that works really well. I don't want to put the black over the white so they have a clear one but weirdly enough the clear lash adhesive like removes the eyeliner underneath whereas the black one doesn't so I don't understand the science behind that but I'm certainly not willing to risk that with this eye look. Okay just finishing a couple of lashes here. Oh wow that one lash got really big. Well who said your eyelashes have to be even? Somebody, probably. Good enough. Okay, what's everyone saying? Oh my gosh. Okay, a lot of people saying that they can't do their lower lash line with eyeliner. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Yeah, I feel like it's just, it's so hard to do the correct amount, <laughs> you know? Like, even with a pencil brush, I get carried away, I go to even things out, and then it's everywhere. So it's really hard to control myself with lower lash line eyeshadow. So I typically just stick with, like, eyeliner. Oh, maybe I'll just put a little bit of, like, white pencil liner in my waterline. I don't know, that can be fun. Complete my very, like, clown-esque look here today. Give you a very bright eye. That could be good. Or I have a, a teal eyeliner. I have like a minty teal eyeliner from LA Girl that I could put in the waterline. I don't know. Would that be too much? I don't know. You guys let me know. I'm throwing out ideas here. Um, this mascara is going horribly. It's not going well. It's because I got so much water activated liner in my eyelashes, but what are you gonna do? You know, 
Well, you really, it's like, what are you going to do? Mm. Focusing, focusing, focusing. You hear all the cars outside my apartment? Loud cars tonight. Oops, forgot I was streaming for a second. Singing to myself. Um, <laughs> as the song I have stuck in my head lately is the song California Dreamin' by the Mamas and the Papas. It goes like this. I will sing it to you now. All the leaves are, all the leaves are brown, and the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. California, California Dreamin'. Stuck in my head. I can't stop singing it. It's so good. And it was a, a trending song on TikTok for a while, but I I like the whole song. I like the whole dang thing. It's just on a loop in my head. Nothing else is happening. No thoughts. Head empty. Only California dreaming. Okay. Lashes went better on that eye. Still not great, but better. Not too bad. Okay. What's everyone saying? I give you so much time to decide what to do on the lower lash line. Ah. Oh my gosh, Betsy likes the song too. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know. Do you think I'll get copyright struck from singing? I hope not. I don't think I sound enough like them for that to happen, but you never know. I probably should be careful. Can't help it. I love to sing. I love to sing. If I have a song stuck in my head, I'm gonna sing it out loud. Ooh, okay, you know what? I'm seeing multiple people say teal on the lower lash line, and I feel like that is a good idea because I agree I would love to put a color on the lower lash line, and the teal liner is gonna be less maintenance than doing like eyeshadow, so let's do that. I'm gonna use this LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. I got this at Ulta for like $4. What a good deal. Um, I do need to sharpen it. So do a little sharpen here. Yes. And now I'm going to do a dangerous thing. Do not look. It's okay. Just warming it up over my candle. That's another reason I keep candles nearby. It's because of pencil liner. It's good to warm it up a little bit so it goes on smoother. And then I always check on my hands to make sure it's not too hot. Don't worry. Not too dangerous. Um... But yes, Cecily, you are right. YouTube is merciless when it comes to music. You know, you can't even have a second of a song or they will take it down. So I should be careful. I, can't, I really can't stop singing. It's like impulsive at this point. Now I feel like my eyes are watering. That's okay. You'll have that sometimes. This has some pretty good staying power though, this eyeliner. Like it's not waterproof. Is it supposed to be waterproof? I don't think so. I don't think it's supposed to be waterproof, but it does stay on pretty good. Which is good for me because I have watery eyes. Allergy season. Although every season is allergy season for me. It just varies. So different seasonal allergies depending on what season it is. Right now it's the leaves, I guess. I don't know. What is it right now? What is it right now that's making my eyes water? Probably just sticking this eyeliner in my eye. I'm really going in on this. Nice. Love it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Han, I didn't realize they have a song that's featured in Lost. I've been wanting to watch Lost recently. Should I watch Lost? Han, should I watch Lost? I've been thinking about it because I watched it when it first came out, but I didn't watch through the last season. But I know it recently got put on Netflix or it recently got more popular on Netflix. I don't know. I feel like everyone's been watching Lost on Netflix and it's got me thinking, should I watch Lost? I don't know. I, my boyfriend and I were talking about it the other day and he said he would be very interested and I can't decide if I am. So, I don't know. Have you guys seen Lost? Is Lost good? I know Lost is good. I've seen some of Lost. Now I gotta do my lower lash line mascara. Jeez. It should have just 
went on by itself. I went to middle school with this girl who cyberbullied me, but she also taught me a valuable mascara hack that actually was not valuable because it did not work. But she used to say that if you just do your upper mascara and then blink really hard, it'll go onto your lower lash line and you don't even have to do lower lash mascara. Kelly, you're an idiot. That's incorrect. It doesn't work and you shouldn't have cyber bullied me in seventh grade, okay? Oh man, we're all over the place today. I hope she watches. I hope Kelly watches. No, I'm sure she won't. She moved. It's fine. She moved away and I didn't get cyberbullied anymore, so that's good. If you didn't get cyberbullied between 2005 and 2008, did you even go to middle school at that time? You know, maybe not. Maybe not. Lucky you, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Star says that they love the LA Girl liners, but my sharpeners suck, so it's sharp when I put it in the waterline. Any sharpener suggestions? Heck yeah, boy do I ever. This Revlon sharpener is so, so good. I've been using it for like years. It's I've rebought it multiple times. Really good, comes with two different sizes too, actually three. So it's got a small one and then a big one, but this thing comes out so you can make it even bigger. So if you have like a huge eyeliner, you can use that. And then if you have a slightly smaller one, you pop the little thing in and then for your regular size, they go in here. This does a great job. It doesn't, it never gets too sharp where it would like poke your eye or anything. And it's easy to empty out. Mine actually needs to be emptied out, but no, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna make a mess if I do that right now. But the Revlon sharpener is like $1.99. And it's really, really good quality. And the sky is gray, and the sky is gray. I can't help myself. Yeah, on the toilet. Oops, it's okay, everybody. Just in the middle of doing my mascara, and the camera died. So let me just, real quick, nobody panic. Nobody panic. You guys are panicking. Don't panic. No, you guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> Everyone says, oh, no, not cyberbullying. Yeah, sorry for bringing up cyberbullying on the chat tonight. What can I say? Tis but my reality. Where are we going? Okay. Are we back up and running? Is the camera back on? Hey, we're back. We're back. Everyone, we did it. We did it. Oh, my gosh. Cecily, I don't know how old your oldest child is, but I am 27. I feel like no one ever knows my age. They usually think I'm, well, I usually think I'm younger because I'm so youthful, but um, yeah, 27. Still full of youth, still full of life, but very much 27. Oh my gosh. Yes, R.I.P. to Kelly's under eyes. Thank you, winner. That is so funny. Yeah, it was her, her mascara was smeary, okay? So I don't know why. I would even entertain her beauty hacks. Oh, it's because I wanted to be your friend. You know, that's the thing about being a middle school. Girls are mean to you and you still want to be their friend. But lucky for us, we all get to grow up and learn lessons. So now I know not to let people cyberbully me. on a winter's day. Am I wearing, I am wearing lipstick. Does this lip go with this? Should I wear a different lip? What do we think? Maybe. Do I even have a paper towel to wipe it off? Yes, I do. I think I am going to wipe it off just because even if I put the same one on, like, it's still, it's a little messy right now. I didn't know the, I didn't know Glossier had a sharpener. Do they charge a million dollars for it? I feel like they overcharge for everything. <laughs> Maybe it's reasonable. Being judgmental, sorry. I reserve my judgments. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Ooh, Donna's making a sand. Donna, you have an Italian sandwich. I've never been more jealous. You have a cat trying to attack your Italian sandwich. Relatable, but also very jealous of your Italian sandwich. That sounds so good. Mm. I think I'm actually going to go luxury tonight, you guys. I think I'm going to... Um, put on this Pat McGrath lipstick that I got in a, I got it for Cyber Monday, like three years ago. 
Got it for $7. She had this incredible deal. This is the shade Valletta. I don't even think she makes this shade anymore. But it's a really peachy nude. And I feel like it'll balance out the look. So that's what I'm going for. Maybe I'll top it with some gloss. I don't know. Getting real extra. I don't know why I rolled it up so much. I'm going to break it. Oh no. Uh, we're all talking about Pat McGrath so much, giving poor Han an allergic reaction, and I'm like, let me put on my Pat McGrath lipstick. Ah, it doesn't smell though. It doesn't smell. It does not smell. So, oh my gosh. California dreaming on a winter's day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Pirate James says that the the best deal was two pencils and a sharpener from Glossier. That does sound like a good deal. And it's Teresa's that approved. Well, color me intrigued. That sounds excellent. Wow, I love a good deal. I heard, I think I've heard her say she likes the Glossier play liners, but they discontinued Glossier play, which is like, why? I don't really understand why they did that. I thought Glossier play looked fun. But, whatever. I have a sticker on my laptop for them. I also, <laughs> I know I just wiped off this lip gloss, but I'm going to use a little bit as a topper. Just a little. Just a little something fun. Just a little sheen for you. Alright, you guys. I think, I think this is it. I think this is the look. Let's do a zoom in. Can I make the lighting better? Can I help you to see it better? I don't know. Let's see. Nope. That was, is that better or worse? Mm. Okay, this might be our best bet with lighting. <laughs> but that's it, you guys. This is the finished look. Thank you all for your input so much. I'm glad we went with the teal lower lash line. I feel like that was the move. I feel like that balances it out really nicely. I love the way it looks. Thank you so much, Amber. I love your cat sticker. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. I'm so happy that you're here today. Thank you all so much for coming to my live stream. Thank you for your input on the look today. Thank you for hanging out with me. There was so much good conversation to be had. I feel like we're all at like an ice cream social and I wish we could all just eat ice cream together. But maybe someday, maybe someday I can mail you all ice cream and we can all eat ice cream together. Ice cream is probably the worst thing to mail, huh? Probably not great, but thank you all so much for coming to my live stream. I can't wait to see you again next week. I'll be back at the same time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to see you there. Would love to see you on the replay. Don't forget to like the stream if you could. Donna's sandwich is all right. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to hear it. You guys are all so funny. We all had such a good time. Ugh. What a good group of pals. I just, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for coming to my live stream. Okay, I gotta go so I can go eat dinner. But you say bye to Bert. Bert, say bye to everybody. Bert says bye. Thank you guys for coming. Have a good night. Did I end the live stream?